Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. We're back again for another week in the shop. So this week we have got some chair content. We're going to be basically doing the final assembly on our last rendition of the chairs. Uh, we've got Charlie content. You guys are going to be really excited to see. Uh, Charlie came into the shop this week. He well, you guys can see what he thought of the chairs. He gave a seal of approval, we think at least. Uh, and then we're also already working on some some of the Buckeye Burl from GL Veneer. So we got this like four foot by four foot coffee table that we're doing. Uh, turned out really, really nice. So I think you guys are gonna like that. Uh, if you guys can, leave us a like right now before the video starts, really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe either. So unfortunately, this is where we're picking up. We have glued the back slats in one wide piece. We kind of cut out the rough shape on the bandsaw just to clear out a lot of that excess material that's there. And then after this, you will see John head to a router table. So here we are on the router table. And if you guys look closely at where the bit is, John has kind of come up with this really kind of, as Brad would say, funky jig. Um, it's got like a little rounded donut shape on there that just allows the piece to, to ride over really nicely. And then here he's just using a chisel, beveling those edges. He's got it nice and sharp too. Look at that, John. Nice. <laughs> and same thing here, he's beveling, but this time he's just using a router on some of those edges just because it's going to make that a lot quicker than doing everything by hand. And then we always recommend pre-sanding your components before assembly because it's gonna be a lot easier to sand them uh, like this instead of trying to get in all those little tight corners. And then here we are using a plug cutter on the drill press and this is Wenge. So we're actually drilling into the end grain for these plugs. Uh, these plugs you'll see in a minute are actually gonna get used to secure all of our joinery on these chairs. So we're going to start finishing all of our back slats for all of our chairs. So we got a big pile of them here and when we're done with them, standing them up in our little holder. chairs we have an armed one glued up over there I did it kind of as practice to get the routine proper yeah I got everything sanded down all my rotoring done and then I have all my joints taped off so we don't have any excess squeeze out on our finished surfaces and yeah let's get to it of us we have got the the chairs for our big furniture package 
Uh, this one's going down to Colorado. It's kind of a cool place where it's going. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, so it should be pretty cool to see what this all looks like when it's set up because there's like no other houses around it right now or anything. Um, I'll kind of walk you guys through what we've done with these chairs and kind of the, the different components of them. So as you kind of watch through, we build, we build this seat frame and we do it hollow. That's just simply for weight reduction. And we're going to be mounting a cushion right on top of this. I think we've got, yeah, right over here. Jesse's just kind of organizing all of the, the plywood frames for the seats. So we take this to Josh at Timeless Upholstery. He's going to wrap this all in leather. Um, like so, like this here. And I'm pretty sure this is the seat profile they're going with, kind of this rounded one. Uh, he's gonna wrap all these in leather. The plywood is right through on the bottom. Um, I just thought of something that we might have to change. Remember we did the webbed bottoms on the last ones, so we actually need the, the hollowed out bit of plywood um, because what, what Josh did for two samples, he made one where it was a solid plywood bottom and you could feel that you would kind of bottom out. And then the other one, he did a frame with the plywood and then he actually did rubber webbing all the way through the middle. Uh, and that made it so that you don't bottom out and when you sit in these chairs, you actually just kind of feels like you're floating in them almost. So we might have to change that or Josh might be able to do that for us. Uh, but anyway, we'll get these wrapped up and hopefully get them there today. Okay, here you go, Charlie. Charlie, check this. Charlie, sit down. Sit, sit down. Sit. Charlie, sit. Charlie, sit. Okay, so we just um, we just <laughs> we just got Charlie back from the hairdresser. Uh, he hasn't actually been here yet during the week. Um, we've only ever brought him on the weekend, so he's getting to meet all the staff today. He's kind of itchy. Kind of the hair. You got it, Charlie. Oh! Hey, puppy! Hi! 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 Doggy! You're a nice dog! Hi! Is this your dog? My family's, yeah. Nice. Can you eat Doritos? Oh, she looks like two hours ago. Because he's eating Doritos. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> These racks here, yep. Okay, so we are putting the racks to use for the first time since they've been in, and they've only been in for like a couple of hours now. Um, Spencer right now is just getting all of the machinery put in the racks. Where's your seat belt? <laughs> oh, oh, it fell, yeah, yeah, it fell off. <laughs> he was off-roading. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try and get as much of our machinery as we can here. I don't think it's all gonna fit, eh? No. So we've got more racking up here that we can use. So kind of our plan is the bottom section is likely gonna be slabs. So we will, we'll take this row out because like these just sit right on there and then we can pop these crossbars out. So we'll have like up to eight foot slabs here and here and then we can put any overstock that we need up there. So it's, it's coming along. <laughs> Bite him, Bite him. Get him, get him. I haven't learned that one yet. <laughs> no. You'll, you'll be a killer in no time. Yeah. We just got this order in here. Let me show you guys exactly what we got. Actually, my first time even seeing one. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's got our logo on the front, which is awesome. And then there's actual measurements on the side. So they should be kind of see-through. I don't know where the sun is. There's no sun really right now. But when there's a liquid inside, like you can see my hand on the inside, you should be able to tell where your epoxy is. So it's gonna make ratios a lot easier this way. Um, and we're probably just gonna end up giving these to people when they purchase a large kit from us. So yeah, awesome. All right, say bye to Charlie. Okay, Mr. Charles Barkley. Oh, you're, 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 you're a handsome dog. Yes, you are, mister. Oh, yes, you got my glasses again. <laughs> So what, what do we got here? Some raisins. Some raisins? Some raisins. No buckets full of raisins. How, many, how much do we got? 
like at least 300 raisins. At least. Um, we have Three 120 buckets. liters of black tinted raisins. Black tinted. <laughs> The, look at the, the figure in that one. Wow. Just look at it. Wow. Would you look at that? When I see something like that, I just want to look at it. Would you figure that? Probably unusable. <laughs> but that's uh, 120 liters for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, there might be something. Oh, so they like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's strange. Yeah, Jen's known that she wants. She's, she's worked with kids since she was like. Oh. Yeah, it's. So here is the Buckeye Burl table, out of the mold, size, sanded. I think it's almost ready for finish. Looks like it's pretty close to 320. Um, probably just need to clean up a few more of the imperfections on it. And this actually did come from GL Veneer and we are super happy with the way this stuff finishes up. We've actually already got like two or three other tables already sold with the Buckeye Burl. So it is going very fast. One thing that people especially like about the Buckeye is it's one of the few woods that has natural like gray coloration in it. Um, we have some slabs of this that are like fully gray on them, which we get people asking for and can only really be done with Buckeye. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that chair content. Uh, we posted it on Instagram and it did really, really well. Uh, obviously, Charlie was a big hit on Instagram too, so let us know what you guys thought of Charlie. Uh, I know someone did say they didn't think Charlie had a place being in a shop, so hopefully we didn't make you mad. Uh, but next week, I think we've got even more resin pours going on, and then our vertical racking should be showing up, so we can actually start loading these racks with slabs, and it's, it's going to look crazy in here. It's going to look really cool. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it's literally just gonna be packed solid with slabs here, packed solid with slabs at the front. Um, and then we're also designing a cool cash desk right now. Um, so I don't have the rendering done yet, but I should have it done before this video goes up. So if I got it done, it'll be on the screen right now. And you guys can kind of see what we're thinking of for the cash desk. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he loves it when he gets my glasses. Look at him, Charlie. Oh, there's a handsome dog. Doesn't he look good? He looks awesome. Go easy, Charlie. Look at him. You're the best dog ever. Yes. Looks like a